Okay, what I've got here is a little vacuum pump connected to a reservoir. That's uh, the output line where it'll suck from. And this is a diaphragm that has a couple of electrical contacts in here, which can be closed tighter with a screw. So the diaphragm acts as a vacuum switch. And when the vacuum gets up to a certain point, it sucks the diaphragm down, which separates the contacts, turns off the motor. And if the vacuum leaks, the diaphragm rises up, makes a contact, and turns the motor back on. And this is actually working very well. So it's worth a video. That's the sound it makes as uh, the motor cuts in and out by the switch. And there's the water level right there, which is about two feet off of the floor. But watch this, how I can adjust this water level. Is that cool? That's a really great adjustment on this little vacuum switch, eh? I'm trying to vacuum up. And that's the maximum. Oops. By golly, that's got a decent lift on that little motor. Okay, so that's going to power the vacuum plate. This is a vacuum plate. I need to make a retainer for this. That's a little swiveling connector. This will ride on your uh, printer bed. A little O-ring seals that and the vacuum inlet is conducted through a hole that's invisible here to all these channels. You'll put down your substrate, some vinyl tape, to seal up all the grooves and turn on the vacuum. It'll suck that down with the atmospheric pressure of about 14 and a half pounds per square inch. This thing is just switching in and out and holding that water level. Jesus, really darn steady. I like it. It'd be good.